Welcome yogis, nice of you that you're here and um, we're going to do a class for flexible hips. So we're going to do a lot of poses for our hips. And um, maybe you need your block, so grab your block and when you're ready we're going to start. And we're going to start laying on our back. Close your eyes, make sure that everything is relaxed from your toes, your hands, all the way up towards your face. And we're going to start with two cleansing breaths. Take a deep inhale through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. One more. And then let go of all your daily things, your daily life. And then focus on your body. Feel the weight of your body. Just be present. Start to observe your breath. And deepen your breath. Make your breath even. So each inhale is as long as an exhale. Two more. And your last one, inhale. And see if you can exhale completely. Open your eyes. And bring your right knee towards your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin. And then start to open your knee. So move your knee a bit to the right and then to the center. Just a couple of times to the right and to the center. To the right and back. To the right and center. And then last time to the right. And when your knee is to the right, then bend your knee and bring your foot sole up. So you can grab your thigh if you want to, your ankle, or make, or grab maybe the outside of your right foot. Inhale and then exhale, draw your knee closer towards your armpit. Press with your left hand against your left hip. And notice if your foot, your right foot is parallel with the floor. Your shoulders are soft, your face is soft, and your head is resting on the floor. So you feel a stretch on the back of your right leg, your hamstrings, maybe your hip socket. Last one. And then bend your left knee and place your foot on the floor and bring your right ankle over your left thigh. So in a figure four, keep your foot flexed and then grab your thigh or maybe your shin. Inhale and exhale, draw your knee closer towards your chest. Two more breaths. And let go, straighten your right leg and bring your left knee towards your chest. Move your knee to the left and to the center. Left and center. Left and center. Left and center. 
Bring your knees to the left, then bring your foot sole up, keep your knee bent, grab your thigh, ankle, or maybe the outside of your left foot. And then slowly press your knee closer towards your armpit and press with your right hand on your right hip. So keep your hips on the floor. Bend your right knee, place your foot on the floor and then cross your left ankle over right thigh. Keep your foot flexed and maybe grab thigh or maybe grab shin and then slowly draw your knee closer towards your chest. Let go and place both feet on the floor. Keep your knees bent, spread the arms, inhale, exhale your knees going to the right, looking over left shoulder in a soft spinal twist. Knees up towards the sky, place your hips a little bit more to the right and then bring your knees to the left, looking over right shoulder. Always make sure that your shoulders are on the floor. And return to the center. Now cross your ankles and hook your place your hands behind your knees, round your spine, nose to knee, and come all the way up into a sitting position with your legs crossed. Inhale, create length. And then exhale, place your hands on the floor and then walk with your hands all the way forward, forward, forward. As far as possible, but keep your sitting bones on the floor. Now move forward, place your elbows on the floor and come to a Sphinx pose. So your elbows and your underarms are shoulder distance, spread the fingers. Make sure that elbows and shoulders are on one line. Press the top of the feet into the floor. And then inhale, draw your elbows closer towards your chest and try to bring your chest between your arms. Don't hang in your shoulders here. So your shoulders are far away from your ears. So Sphinx is for lower back and for the front of your body. Curl your toes into the floor, engage your core, so pull your belly button in and then come on your toes, press your heels back and you are in your dolphin plank for five, four, three, two, one. Return to Sphinx, draw your elbows closer towards your chest. Keep your legs active here. And then again, toes into the floor, engage your core. Come to dolphin plank for five, four, three, two, one. Now push your sitting bones up and back. Place your knees on the floor and take a child pose. So child pose, bring your sitting bones towards your heels and place your forehead on the floor. Come on hands and knees again. Place your hands shoulder distance. Your index fingers are pointing forward. And then observe your shoulders, bring your shoulders away from your ears and come on your toes. So place your toes into the floor and then lift your knees and then press back, press back, all the way back as far as possible. And then straighten your legs or keep a little bent in your knees. 
Walk your dog in your downward facing dog. So hands shoulder distance, feet hip distance, core is active, so ribs and your belly are in. Bend your knees, inhale, high plank. Start to push the floor away. Now bring the weight a bit forward, place your knees on the floor, lift your buttocks up and bring chest and chin towards floor. Place the top of the feet into the floor, slide a little bit forward and maybe up to full cobra. Try to bring your shoulders back, keep your legs active and then exhale downward facing dog. One more breath. Now bend your knees, inhale, step forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, nose to knee, keep a bend in your knee. Inhale, rise up, circle your hands up. Exhale. Turn your toes a bit to the out and your heels a little bit in. Your feet are hip width or maybe a little bit more. Hands before your heart, inhale and exhale. Come to Malasana, your yogi squat. Open with your elbows, your knees, and press, press your hands before your heart. Try to bring your sitting bones towards the floor and reach with the crown up. So this is also a nice hip opener. Two more breaths. Now turn your toes forward. Use the strength in your feet and in your legs to come all the way up. Exhale, five star. And activate your five star by reaching through your fingertips. Press your feet into the floor. Engage your legs. So try to squeeze your thighs together and reach with the crown up. One more breath. Now cross your hands before your hips and then inhale, circle up, big circle, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, big circles. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now intertwine your fingers behind your back. And Make sure that your toes are pointing forward, feet are hip width. Keep a little bend in your knees. Inhale, open your heart, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And with a little bend in your knees, bend forward. So your head is heavy, your neck is relaxed and try to bring your hands all the way down towards the floor. Two more breaths and then let go. Place your right hands on the floor, bend your right knee a bit, straighten your left leg and then bring your left arm up in a twist. Make sure that your hips are even. One more breath and then let go, change. Left hand on the floor, bend your left knee, straighten right leg and bring your right arm up. And exhale from here. Take a big step with your left foot back. In our first low lunge. When you're on your low lunge, try to move your hips towards the midline. And you press your le left heel back. 
Now place your left knee on the floor and send your hips forward. One more breath. Now we're going to send our hips back and straighten our right leg. So your heel is into the floor, your toes are up. Try to keep your knee and your hip above each other. Take a deep inhale, exhale, look down. And then observe your hips. So if you feel that your right hip is coming up, then lower your right hip. And keep pressing into your right foot. Now move forward until your knee and your ankle are above each other and then come all the way up reach up create length in your spine exhale reach back intertwine your fingers here and then open your heart maybe lean a bit back so it's more back bent you can send your hips forward if you want to one more breath and let go place your hands on the inside of your right foot and walk with your right foot a little bit more towards the right so you are in a modification of a lizard pose keep your right knee close one more breath Now walk back until your left knee and your left hip are in one line. Place your left hand on the floor, shoulder and wrist in one line. Then open your right hip. Keep the balance and then make sure that your leg is in the same height as your hip. And bring your right arm up in the balance. Place your right foot on the floor, right arm alongside your ear. Try to bring your heart towards the ceiling. And exhale. Come sit on your toes or on your heels. Make sure that all your ten toes are into the floor. So even your little pinky toes. And then observe that you're sitting Upright, so don't lean forward. And place hands before your chest in prayer for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Place your top of the feet into the floor and sit down on your heels. Place your hands behind you. Your fingertips are facing your hips and hands are shoulder distance. Open chest, bring shoulders on your back. And inhale, lift your buttocks up. And exhale. Inhale, number two. Exhale. Inhale for number three. Exhale. Number four. Exhale. And our last one, number five. And exhale. Place hands on the floor and return to downward facing dog. Observe your downward facing dog and your breath also. And when you're ready, then inhale, high plank. Shift weight forward, low plank. Maybe with knees, maybe without. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Engage your legs. Bend your knees and then inhale, step forward, lengthen the spine again, exhale, nose to knee, inhale all the way up, exhale, hands before heart, 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands behind your back, intertwine your hands. Shoulder dis um, hip distance, your feet are hip distance, open chest and squeeze your shoulder blades together and exhale, fold forward again. Maybe you can straighten your legs or keep your bent. Try to bring your hands all the way down. Okay, now place hands on the floor and step with your right foot a big step back in a low lunge on our left side. Same here, hips even, so left hip is moving backwards, right hip is moving forward. And place your knee on the floor and send hips forward. So it's a big stretch for the front of your right thigh or the back of your left thigh, your groin area. One more breath, and then we're going to send our hips back, straighten the left leg, place heel into the floor, inhale and exhale, look down towards your foot or towards your mat, make sure that your hips are even and don't forget to press of the push with your heel. And also observe if your right knee and your right hip are in one line. Now we're going to move forward until our knee and ankle are above each other. Come all the way up, create length, exhale, reach back, open heart and your shoulders and then maybe lean forward or send your hips forward for a big stretch on the left side. Maybe looking up so it's more back bend. Point your hands towards the floor. And let go, place your hands on the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot a little bit more toward the edge of your mat, but keep your knee close and send your hips forward in your modified lizard pose. Also a hip opener. Now walk back until your right knee and right hip are above each other. Place your right hand on the floor and open your left hip. Keep your foot flexed, keep the balance, bring your left arm up. Place your left foot on the floor, left arm is alongside your ear. Push with your foot into the floor and create length. And come on your toes. Second time, make sure all your ten toes. Sit on your heels, so the weight of your upper torso it's pressing on your toes and bring your hands before your heart for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top of the feet, sit on your heels. Place your hands behind you, shoulder distance. Open chest, bring shoulders together and then inhale for one. Exhale down. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale four. Exhale, our last one. Inhale for five. And exhale. Return to downward facing dog. Set up your downward facing dog with care, with awareness. Feel your downward facing dog. Notice if you press your fingertips and your fingers and your hand, hand palms into the floor. So use your whole hands to press. There's no gap under your hands. 
Bend knees, inhale, high plank. Shift the weight forward, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more breath. Now bend your knees and an inhale. Step forward. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, nose to knee. Use your core. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale. Lift your right knee up. And step into a low lunge. Um, Yes, low lunge. Inhale, rise up into a high lunge. Don't forget to pull your belly in, tailbone in. Push your right toes into the floor and press your heel back. Exhale, make your twist towards the left side. Inhale and exhale. See if you can intensify your twist and keep the balance. See on the inhale if you can straighten everything for one. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Keep the balance. Keep your twist. Exhale. Now we're going to windmill to a warrior two. So you have a warrior two over your left side. Reach through your fingertips, keep your shoulders relaxed. Is your tailbone in and your belly in. Then inhale for reverse. first. Keep your hips even here, so observe. Exhale, come out of your pose, start to reach and place your arm on your thigh, right arm alongside your ear. Observe your shoulders and your ears, keep distance. Don't lean too much on your thigh, on your leg. And breathe. Place your hands on the inside of your um, left foot and walk with your left foot a bit to the left. Keep your hips even here, and we are in a lizard. One more breath in, lizard. Now place your foot in the middle, so return to a low lunge. And then place your knee, your right knee, next to your left foot. Your five toes this time. Sit on your heel, hands before heart. Sit up straight, shoulders above hips for five, four, three, two, one. Roll on your foot and sit down in maybe a half boat, maybe a full boat for five, four, three, Two, one, zero. Cross and take a downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one. Bend your knees, inhale, you can jump or you can walk towards the front of the mat. Lengthen, exhale, nose to knee and inhale, circle up. And exhale. Lift your left knee up. Then when you're ready, low lunge. Inhale, high lunge. 
create length in your low lunge. So the energy is not going down here, but it's going up. Prepare for your twist towards the right. Inhale, exhale, maybe you can twist a bit more. Make sure that your shoulders are above your hips, so don't lean forward. And also observe your knee. Your knee and your toes are pointing straight forward. Inhale, keep the balance. Exhale. Inhale, keep the balance. Exhale. Now windmill your hands, warrior two of your right side. Inhale for reverse. Exhale, come out of your pose. Reach and place your arm on your leg, left arm alongside your ear. Try to turn your heart towards the ceiling. Create length on your whole left side and observe that you don't hang. So the strength is from your legs and from your core. So move your, lift up your arm, nothing changes. Okay, lizard. Walk your right foot a bit towards the right. Observe your hips, move your hips towards the midline and then press your toes and push your heel back. Place your foot back in the middle so it's a low lunge. Then place your knee next to your um, right foot. All your five toes. And sit up straight. For five, four, three, two, one. Roll on your left foot, sit down. Half boat or full boat, your choice. Keep your back straight, try to push your heart forward for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Cross and downward facing dog again. Inhale, high plank, exhale, low. Inhale. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Bad knees, inhale, step or jump to the front, lengthen spine, exhale, nose to knee, inhale, circle the arms up and exhale. Inhale, circle your arms up again. Exhale for forward fold. Try to lead with your heart. And then inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg is up, but keep your hips even and press your heel back here. Push into your hands. Exhale, step into a warrior one. So your back foot is a little bit out and then inhale, rise up into warrior one. Bend your front knee, keep knee above ankle, press the back of your back foot into the floor and watch your hips. So keep your hips even, tailbone in, belly in and breathe. Um, in at the interlace your hands behind your back. Open chest and your shoulders. Exhale for humble warrior. So your right shoulder is next to your right knee. And try to bring your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Head is heavy, neck is relaxed. Watch your hips. So watch your right hip, especially your right hip. If you feel that your right hip is coming forward, then press it back. Let go of your hands and then inhale, slowly rise up again in warrior one. We're going to repeat it. Exhale. Inhale, open heart. Exhale again for warrior one. 
Place your hands on the floor, walk with your hands towards the left. And your toes are a bit in and your heels are a bit out. First start to lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk back. And then your fingertips are in one line with your toes. Bring the crown towards the floor. Engage your legs, elbows are pointing backwards. One more breath and let go. Walk with your hands towards the front of your mat. Place left knee on the floor and walk with your right foot towards the right. And then your knee and your toes are pointing outside, to outwards. Press with your, I'm going to turn around so it's easier for you to see. Place with your Press with your right hand against your right knee to open. So make sure your toes and your knees are pointing the same direction. And then send your hips forward. Inhale, bring your arm up. Exhale, look back. Try to keep your thumb the same height as your shoulder and make your twist. So this is a dragon twist. Also a hip opener, of course. One more breath, return, place hands on the floor, curl your left toes into the floor and step back in downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank, exhale low. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend knees, inhale, step forward, lengthen again, exhale, nose to knee, and inhale, circle your arms up, exhale, hands before heart, inhale, circle up, exhale, leading with the heart, inhale, flat back, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, keep hips even. Exhale, step foot between hands, your back foot, turn it a bit out. And then inhale, come all the way up into your warrior one. And then remember to keep your hips even. Tailbone in, belly in, bend your front knee. And don't forget to push your back foot into the floor, arms up. <laughs> And interlace your hands, inhale, open, exhale, humble warrior. Don't forget to bring your hands maybe towards the floor or as far as possible. So you feel the opening at chest and shoulders. Slowly rise up into your warrior one again. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, open heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Walk with your hands towards the right. Toes in, heels out. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, walk with your hands. And then notice if your fingertips are in the same length, the same line as your toes. Elbows are pointing backwards, bring the crown towards the floor, neck is relaxed, engage your legs. Now walk your, walk your hands a little bit forward and then towards the front. So you have, uh, place your right knee, on, right knee on the floor and walk your left foot towards the outside. I'm going to turn around. Okay, place your hand um, against your knee and then a soft push. Send your hips forward in your dragon. Then lift your arm up. Bring it all the way towards the back and then look towards your thumb in your dragon twist. Observe your breath. And 
Circle it back, curl your right toes into the floor and step back in downward facing dog. Inhale for high plank and exhale for low. Inhale for up dog, exhale for downward facing dog. One more breath. Take a little hop half of your mat. And sit down on your buttocks. We're going to cross our right, um, right foot over left leg and bend your left leg. Sit on both sitting bones. Sit on both sitting bones, so make sure that inhale, reach up. Exhale, hook your left elbow over your right knee, place your other hand behind you, take a deep inhale, create length in your spine, lift your sternum and exhale, look over right shoulder. One more breath. Exhale, let go and we're going to change. So bend your right knee and place your left foot, your left foot over it. Make sure that both sitting bones are on the floor. Inhale, create length. Exhale, hook your right elbow over your left. Place your other hand behind you first. Inhale, create length, lift your sternum. Exhale, look over left shoulder. One more breath, or two, and return. Cross your ankles and step into downward facing dog. Inhaling for high plank. Lift your right leg up for one, two, three, four, five, and change. Left leg for one, two, three, four, five. Low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Now inhale, lift your left leg up, exhale, we're going to pigeon, so place your left elbow or your left knee on the outside of your left wrist and walk with your right leg all the way back. Keep your foot flexed, your left foot. And then maybe you want to bring your leg more in the same line as the short side of your mat, as the front of your mat, or bring your foot more towards your groin. So you can choose. When you bring your foot more towards your groin, it makes it a little bit easier. If you have a big gap under your left buttock, then use a block to place it. Okay. So when you're here, I want you to notice if your hips are even, and then there's a little trick. We're going to bring our right shoulder more towards our left knee. So you feel how your hips, how your right hip is moving forward. And then you feel your hips are even. And then return. Place hands or fingertips into the floor. Lift your heart, bring your shoulders on your back. Keep your foot flexed. And then stay here. Maybe you want to add something, maybe you can bend your right knee. Maybe it's possible to catch and catch your foot where your big toe is. And then try to sit upright and try to bring your torso towards the front. You can bring your left arm here if you want to, or rest your hand on your knee. Maybe you can draw your foot a bit closer. Let go of your foot with control and come on your elbows. If this is okay, you can stay here. Or maybe you want to do a, to go a step further and come all the way down on your belly. Two. 
two more breaths. Place hands on the floor, curl your right toes under, step back to downward facing dog. Then when you're in your downward facing dog, lift your right leg up. And place your knee on the outside of your right wrist. Walk your left leg back. Keep your right foot flexed and maybe you want to walk your leg a little bit more towards the front or bring your foot more towards your groin. It's your choice. It's your body. Okay. Try to feel how it is. Maybe you need your block on your right buttock. And we want to keep our, um, to bring our hips even. So bring your left um, shoulder towards your right knee until you feel that your hips are even. And then return to your pose. When you're in your pose, try to bring your heart forward. Try to bring your shoulders on your back. Maybe it's possible to bend your knee and catch your foot. And try to turn your heart towards the front. You can choose here. Or maybe rest your hands on your knee. Maybe draw your foot a bit closer. If you have the space. So don't push yourself too hard. It's better to be safe. One more breath and then let go with control. Place your elbows on the floor. And maybe you want to stay here or come all the way down. One more breath. Return on your hands. Curl your left toes under. Press yourself up and back into a downward facing dog. And walk your dog or shake your legs if you want to. So it's your choice. It's your practice. One more breath. And maybe one last vinyasa. You can stay in downward facing dog. Maybe you want to make a vinyasa, so high plank, shift it forward, low plank, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, press back and up, feel the length in your back, reach with your sitting bones up, and then take a little hop or take a step, half a mat, and sit down. For our butterfly, place, placing our foot soles together and then maybe move a little bit more on the front of your sitting bones. Long tall spine, hinge from your hips forward, are you ready? And then lean forward, try to keep your back straight. So, of course, this is also a hip opener. So you, maybe you feel it by your inner thighs. Maybe on the outside of your hips. Maybe by the outside of your thighs or your lower back or your glutes. Last one. Inhale, come all the way up. Now straighten your legs. You're going to Paschimottanasana. So sit on your sitting bones. Activate your legs. Your toes are up. Imagine you press with your feet against the wall. And then the same here. We try to hinge from our hips. So not with your back, but from your hips. Maybe it's easier to sit on a cushion or to sit on a blanket. 
inhale create length and then exhale reach forward hinge from your hips and then maybe it's possible to grab your feet maybe your trouser inhale to create length lift your sternum exhale reach forward one more inhale lengthen spine reach and then exhale reach forward and observe your feet your toes are pointing up your feet are active try to create length in your spine and you feel the stretch on the back of your legs and also uh, your lower back and your glutes two more breaths Inhale, come all the way up, place your hands behind you, your fingertips are facing your hips, bend your knees, placing feet hip width, bring your heart forward and your shoulder blades, try to squeeze your shoulder blades together, then inhale, lift your hips up, chin to chest, keep your hips up, press and feet in into hands for five, four, three, two. One, and then slowly bring your buttocks back towards the floor. And our last pose is um, our angel wings. So first straighten your legs and then bring your hands in like this between your shoulder blades. So cross your hands and try to wiggle them up between your shoulder blades. So don't place them in your lower back. So all the way up and then lay down on your back and because we did a little lot of hip openers maybe you want to add some extra you can place your foot soles together and make a butterfly if it's a bit too much then you can also straighten your legs so it's your choice and as I said before your practice so when you have your hands behind your back, focus on your shoulders and try to relax your shoulders, both your left and your right. And maybe there's a difference between left and right. You can relax your shoulders to notice your breath. And then keep breathing calm and deep. And where you feel tension, maybe in your right shoulder or maybe your left, breathe towards the tension and exhale tension. Also, keep your face soft, feel your hands between your shoulder blades, your hands are pressing against your upper back and that's the spot where you bend your back often when you are looking at your phone or sitting behind your desk or sitting on your couch. You feel space in your chest and also your shoulders. Last breath there. If you have your legs in a butterfly, then straighten your legs. Lift your heart up, your heart towards the ceiling so you can free your hands and then bring your hand palms up towards the ceiling and then just feel the impact of the pose on your body and your mind. The impact of our yoga on your body and your mind. And we are almost there. At the end of the practice. So draw your knees towards your chest and maybe move from left to right. And we're going to end our practice with a twist. Straighten your right leg, left knee towards chest. And then move your knee towards the right, looking over left shoulder. You can place your hand on top of your leg if you want to. 
and then press it gently down. Keep your left shoulder on the floor and also observe the impact of the stretch. Where do you feel it? Your shoulder, your chest area, front body, stomach area, your left hip and return to the center. Bring your right knee in first and then bring your knee towards the left, looking over right shoulder. Same here. Try to keep everything relaxed. Hand is resting on top of your thigh or leg. And return to the center. You're going to close. Maybe you want to close bringing your knees towards your chest and your nose towards your knees. Uh, yes, make yourself small. Squeeze. Place your head back, straighten your legs, point your toes, bring arms alongside ears. Make with index fingers an arrow. Inhale. Exhale, let go. Inhale. Exhale, let go. And then prepare yourself for your Savasana. If you want to, you can place your left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, spread your legs just a little bit more hip width. Your feet are relaxed and your everything is relaxed. Face also, shoulders and fingers, feet, toes. Then you can start your Savasana if you want to, of course, with two cleansing breaths, letting go of tension and letting go of things you don't need anymore. Inhale, exhale tension. Inhale, exhale things you don't need anymore. And then be soft and be heavy and enjoy your safasana. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm grateful that you're were here. And um, well, I hope you feel more flexible in your hips. And um, I hope to see you next time, maybe for another class, a yin or a vinyasa or a gentle flow. Well, take care of yourself, take care of others and um, namaste as always.